So Israel got out of Gaza in 2005 in the pursuit of peace. 10,000 Jews were actually forced out of their homes in the pursuit of peace. Gaza got more dangerous. It became a hot tub for terrorists. You know where Hamas's money is being spent? Um, all Israel has done since 1967 is go backwards. Israel did not allow him to enter Gaza because they... Muslims, Jews, and Christians. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever time you're watching from. I'm so glad to have you all here. Thank you so much for clicking. So Amma sympathizers start yelling at fat. Why having a debate with Charlie? Charlie Keith. So let's watch. So who ran Gaza up until 2005? I mean, it was Same thing. No. Israel did. Israel used to occupy the Gaza Strip. 10,000 Jews left Gaza. The IDF totally withdrew. Why did Israel do that? You tell me. You're the one with the table. To pursue peace. Because they, they were promised a peace deal if they got out of Gaza. Then Hamas took over as mayor of Gaza, and it's now a hot tub for terrorists, where there are thousands of rockets so every single the, month. Where was the peace that happened after they withdrew? Exactly. Israel signed a peace accord, and the PA violated it. But, so, so this is the way peace... Occupying territory. They weren't occupying. They got out. But you just said Israel occupied that territory Correct. in Gaza until they got out. So that's not... No, no, but they got out on a condition of peace. So they said, we will get our 10,000 Jews out of Gaza. So 10,000 Jews used to live in Gaza. Well, so, so who, who is Gaza's territory? Whose is that? Egypt. It's been, it's been Egypt for 2,000 years, okay? So, how, so since you're, you understand this, maybe, um, how did Israel win back that territory? Sinai, deal, right, so in the 1967 war, they pushed back Egypt all the way to their borders, and so they, they gave up the Sinai Desert in pursuit of peace with Egypt. That worked. that worked. So then they kept the occupation of Gaza, which there's factories and rolling hills and vineyards, a lot of wealth there. There's two million people that live in Gaza, more or less. Okay. 10,000 Jews lived on the eastern skirt of Gaza. So in pursuit of peace, in the 2005 peace talks, Israel said, you know what? We want peace in, as a condition. We'll get out. If you guys have real peace with us, stop launching rockets, stop building terror tunnels, stop killing our children, all these sorts of things. Are you pro Hezbollah or? Can I ask a question? Sure, happy to. What formal education do you have? Plenty. I mean, formal education. Like a if, if you're going to argue, if you're going to argue from authority, that's a logical fallacy. Tell me why I'm wrong. Don't tell me how many degrees you have. Don't ask me to change the conversation. I'm actually, I, I would, I would argue, I'm more informed because I didn't go to college and I've traveled the world, and I've met with world leaders, and I've read many books. So tell me, how am I oppressive? Can you name one example of how I'm oppressive? I can name a lot of examples. Can you name one? Name one example of how I'm oppressive, because you just said it. literally here telling people that they are wrong about views and their Well, no, they just don't have facts. Can you tell me one time that I've been wrong about anything I've said? Tell me a time that Israel has launched an offensive war. It's you, Lebanon. They didn't. They're, they're attacking Hezbollah. That was, it's within their borders. It was to Lebanon. They don't just attack Hezbollah. Hezbollah occupies southern Lebanon, which is Iranian-funded, is it not? Really? I had no idea. Thank you for informing me. Anytime. Me. Maybe so if you didn't go to college, you would learn more. Oh, you're so right. You're so right. Here, here's the thing. But, like, IDF is a terrorist organization. How is... The, I, the IDF is a terrorist organ... Yeah, no, according to a lot of people... Wait, hold on a second. The ID... Not me, but like a lot of countries around... Why is it that they haven't built a new school or hospital in the last five years, hundreds of millions of dollars pour into Gaza, it's because Hamas runs Gaza right now, and they're a terrorist organization. So Israel got out of Gaza in 2005 in the pursuit of peace. 10,000 Jews were actually forced out of their homes in the pursuit of peace. Gaza got more dangerous. It became a hot tub for terrorists. You know where Hamas's money is being spent? On terror tunnels and rockets being shot towards Tel Aviv. Where were those two rockets shot two weeks ago out of? They were shot out of Gaza. Yeah, two rockets. Oh, what's the big deal? Yeah, wh wh who cares when Jews have rockets shot at them, right? Because Israel is, is fighting a defensive right for its own national sovereignty. All Israel has done since 1967 is go backwards. All Israel has done. The UN sent an Asian diplomat, I forget his name exactly what it was, to go investigate crimes against humanity in Gaza. Israel did not allow him to enter Gaza because they said his visa wasn't valid. And that was published in an Israeli newspaper. Okay, so I'll have to look into that. If that's the case, then I'll, I'll say that you're correct. Um, but here's the question, though. So Israel is the only democracy in the Middle East right now. They're practicing democracy. Muslims, Jews, and Christians... Well, they, they, they can. Hold, hold on a second. Oh, oh, th th first of all, many Palestinians in Palestinian Authority that is in Zone B, not Zone A, can vote in elections. Secondly, 
secondly, here's the question. Do you want, so you want them to be able to vote both in PA elections and Israeli elections? Why hasn't the PA had an election in 12 years? Mahmoud Abbas is a dictator of the PA that uses the money and the aid that we give him to enrich himself. Oh, Mahmoud Abbas, hold on a second. A hold on. Oh, hold on, but I thought he was democratically elected. So why don't you guys have students against the Palestinian Authority, not students against Israel? The Palestinian Authority... The Palestinian Authority is not guns against Palestinian children. Oh, I, I, I thought... Well, the Palestinian Authority was democratically elected 12 years ago. Mahmoud Abbas has not had any checks and measures against him. In Nablus, he lives in a 25,000 square foot mansion. Here, here, here's the bottom line, is that Arabs are better served under Israeli government than under the Palestinian Authority government. Arabs are... I'm sorry, what? Yeah, wait, wait, I'm sorry, what? When they're in the ground dead. That's where a majority of Palestinians end up. What are you, a majority of Palestinians end up dead? How dare you say something like that? There's, there's 15 and a half million people that live in the Palestinian Authority. Half of them end up dead? So you're, you're trying to tell me that seven and a half million Palestinians have been killed? Is that what you're trying to say? That's, I've never seen that number. Well, it's actually 50 and a half million is if you count the PA and Israel together. You're right. It's more like it's more 6 million in Palestinian Authority, 9.5 million in Israel proper. So it's about 15 combined. So, six million, so you're trying to tell me 3 million people have been killed? 3 million people have been killed by the IDF? That's not even close to being true. Yeah. Okay. So let me, let me ask. There's let me ask. a difference. Listen to me. Listen to me. There's a difference between Zionism and anti-Semitism. Then build, build out that, build that out for me. You don't support the state of Israel doesn't mean so let me get this straight. You, you, you don't hate Jews, you just hate the Jews' right to exist no, in their I homeland. Hate the, you're not even Jewish, you can't speak the okay. Okay. Wait, hold on a second. That's wait, 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 wait. A, that, They're not black. Wait, you want me to exist, right? Yeah, exactly. Like, so that, that's one of the worst identity <laughs> politics <laughs> arguments. Just because black. I'm not something, it doesn't make me wrong. No, no the issue is not. You don't have it's an apartheid state of Israel. That's not, that's not in line with conservative politics. How's, how so? Because there is no separation of church and state. Then why, the why can, let me ask you a question. Why can Christians freely practice their religion in Israel, but Jews can't freely practice their religion in the Palestinian Authority? How are Jews not practicing it? What happens if an Israeli citizen goes into a Bethlehem? What, what happens if a Jew goes into Bethlehem? What happens if a Muslim goes into Jerusalem, they can go to a mosque. That's what happens. You know what happens at you know what happened? People are turned yeah. away because they can't pray in their own place. Well, hold on a second. They have full access to the al Aska Mosque. Do. I was there myself. I was around 500 oh, Muslims on the al Aska Mosque. Listen, hold on a second. Jews' heads are cut off in Hebron if they go to Hebron. Jews and Israelis are not allowed in Palestinian authority. So I, I was in Hebron three weeks ago. You know what happened? If a Jew goes... If, if a Jew goes to Hebron, their head will get cut off. Okay, so Jews are not allowed in the Temple Mount? You do know that, right? No, I'm saying Palestinians, Muslims going into Al-Aqsa. Right, so yes. I, it, it's very hotly debated. No, actually, when no, I was is. there, I was praying at Al-Aqsa, and I saw is IDF soldiers coming in while I was praying. Did they I stop you? Did they stop you from praying? They, they throw, like, tear grass. No, no they uh, don't. Not the Al-Aqsa Mark. Did they stop you from praying? I shouldn't be in fear while but I... But they don't do what you, you say they're doing. I'm just telling you, it's not true. Did they, but I, I, I don't think you're representing reality. I was literally there. So let me ask a question. I was there. You, you should not be able to prove your religion. You should be able, if a Muslim... Okay, that's a really interesting point. So Jews should be allowed on the Temple Mount. Because the Muslims don't allow them on the but, Temple Mount right now. So the Jordanian control of the Temple was, Mount. It was since the Prophet Muhammad. It was it was it was there since the Prophet Muhammad. Oh, okay. So do you think? It, here's the thing. So you think? Do you think Jews should be allowed on the Temple Mount? It's it's a. So you don't think it's a Temple Mount because if you do, that's the very interesting thing. If you just say it's a Temple Mount, I, I'm putting you in a, admittedly, in a very difficult position because Muslims do not recognize it as the yeah. Temple Mount. Right. They recognize it as their place of worship, and it's been that way since the beginning. No, it's been the Temple Mount since King David. Thank you very much. So, I mean, you could say whatever you wanted to say. I, it's a huge point. It's actually like it's one of the biggest inhibitions of peace. I think that Jews and Muslims and Christians should all be allowed to go to the Temple Mount. Right now, Muslims do not allow Jews to go into the Temple Mount. One rabbi is allowed to go in once a year. That's it. That's that. That's the treaty. Why is that? It's just that how is that fair? Why are Jews not allowed to go? But it's I, I, I mean, Muslims are allowed to go to their holy sites. You, you just said you were allowed to go. Okay, but so people, it doesn't mean that other people aren't allowed to go. I, I, and if, if that's the case, then I'll totally denounce it. But you, you are a living example that you were allowed to go. <laughs> wow, I love the fact that he was able to explain 
everything we need to know about the history between the Amas, the Gaza, everything we need to know about Israel and the Palestine. And it lets us understand that everything started, you know, few years back in 2005 it was gradually becoming intense and you know based on the fact that there are some things that they they, they don't agree that's why the uh, commotion happened there was outbreak there are some things that you can do in their country whereas you can't do in palestine there are some things that palestine muslims can do in israel whereas the jewish people we, we, who are called the israel cannot do in palestine and that was it's not really fair on them you know them taking that decision to you know fight war or kill people is totally out of it i i do not support that because one lady said almost half of the country have died how is it possible no matter how a war is there's no way half of the country will know will go so the, the part that one guy was kind of rude that, that was so rude of him why were you asking for his degree you are having a conversation. It's not all about school. I don't know why college students, you know, base their fact only on studies, only on what they have been taught in school. Somebody can have more knowledge, you know, more proof, more knowledge about life, about politics, about things going on in this world, than you that goes to school. What has we discussing about Hamas and Gaza got to do with? certificate got to do with degrees when that guy asked that question i was like that was so rude of him why we ask a man that is giving a lot of information that you yourself don't know about and you're telling him to prove it that well, how many degrees does he have how can he prove that what he's saying is right like i don't understand is it that some students don't actually get to know this point like if you want to know more about what is going on in the world that is why we have social media Social media teaches us more than what school teaches. Schools cannot teach us everything. Information is knowledge. So that was so rude of him. And some of them were just screaming, shouting, not trying to learn from what the man is saying. You don't have facts. You don't have there was a part that the one lady spoke about an issue and the man do not object to it because he doesn't have his facts on that and he said okay i would i will agree on that for now but in a, you know went on to have some point to it getting to the end of the video the question charlie asked the lady she could not answer like he said he said one right back goes there like i think once in a year or so and which is totally unfair to them but wow that was a very heated you know debate argument very very intent one that was a beautiful one let me know what your thoughts let me know what you think about this video let's keep this discussion going thank you so much for watching you're my real vip i'll see you guys in the next one bye